Hello everyone, in this lecture we are going to understand what are the various commands which can be used to manage volume grow. LVM that is a logical volume manager is a storage device management technology. So let's see what are those commands. So here we have few commands like PVS, VGS and your PV display command and like this way we have more commands LVs, LV display, PV create and PV remove. So there are various commands which can be used to you know manage your volume group. So let me do one thing let me you know create a volume group for that then you can understand these commands easily. So I'm on my system so let me see how many disk I have. So for that I have simply fired the F disk at the last I can see I have a disk this one. So what I'm going to do here I'm going to use F disk and giving this okay and uh, P is for the print so this disk is not having any partition so I'm going to create two partition and P is primary first one first one and I'm giving the size 200 M so this has been created you can cross check okay I'm going to create another disk and P second one and giving 200 also I'm giving 200 M here so I have created two partition that is SDH1 and SDH2 and I will treat each partition as a separate disk okay W save and come out so now I am having two partition this one and this one here you can see that okay so PV create is a command which will create the volume group PV create is a command which will create the physical volume so I have simplified for both the disk now if I fire PVs so it will show you the physical volume so you can see that earlier it was having three disk two physical volume just now I have created with this command PV create command it is started showing here now next is your VG if you fire the VGs you can see the list of volume group so here you can see that I have only two volume group now I'm going to create a volume group so to create a volume group we have the command VG create and name of your volume group I am giving VG test any name you can give and the disk name the disk name I am using SDH1 so just now I have created this one so SDH1 and 2 so with one disk I have created this volume group now this has been created now if you want to see you can give LV VG display and the name of your VG VG test so it will give you the complete detail if you add hyphen V so you can see this and it has at the last you can see one physical volume also now I have a volume group that is VG test and uh, this volume group is created with the this physical volume now I want to see the detail of this physical volume so for that I will be using VG PV display and this one I'm getting a detail about this so this is the site and everything you can get it here and this is a part of this volume group now this is my volume group I want to add a disk further disk to my VG how we can add it's VG extend and uh, this is my VG so as of now this VG is having only one disk that is this one now I'm going to add one more disk second now one more disk has been added to my VG test if you want to see with that earlier it was showing a single disk now you can see that one more disk has been added to my volume group so two disk has been added now now with the you know physical volume I have created volume group okay and in the volume group I have created I have added two disks now what I'm going to do I'm going to create a logical volume so LVs I can fire the list of LVs are showing I'm going to create a new LV LV create hyphen L and I want the size of my LV is 100 M and uh, the name would be LVOL LVOL1 and uh, that would be the part of VG test so that has been created now again if you fire VGs you can see at the last a new L wall has been added with VG test. 
okay now if you want to you know use this logical volume as your file system you have to format it mkfs hyphen t ext4 and you can give this vg test and uh, at the last you can give this one so this has been formatted now and uh, you simply you know create a directory and uh, aura db1 and you can mount it this one this file system you can mount it here so this has been mounted now so now you can go inside this you know directory and put your files so we have learned a lot of commands let's see lv display lv display we have forget so if it fires lv display and uh, simply give this you will get a detail about this logical volume pv remove if you want to remove the physical volume so you can simply remove the physical volume vg create we have understand vg rename if you want to rename your logical volume you can rename like my vg is vg test if you want to remove with if you want to rename it to vg test to vg something new you can give it vg remove if you want to remove the logical volume vg extend that we have already seen if you want to add a space a disk to your existing vg so that's we have already done we have added one disk to the vg so if i need to you know uh, remove the volume group then how we can do that so as of now i'm just removing trying to remove this vg or you can say decommissioning of this vg so first of all i have to you know see what all the logical volumes that is created on this so one logical volume i have created so i need to first remove that logical volume so which is currently in you know mounted state so first i have to unmount this okay and then i have to remove lv remove I have to remove this logical volume and then i have to vg reduce so as of now if i will see that vg test there are two disk are there i need to remove this disk first so vg reduce and the name of my vg test and the name of the disk it's vg test only so this disk has been removed you can see that now only one disk and uh, let's understand pv remove as well so pv remove so this disk is already removed so you can fire the pv remove so this disk has been removed wiped out its header has been wiped out although this disk is present on the system but now the disk is simply a raw disk and uh, nothing in its header so this we have done so now the next is your remove vg remove vg remove and the name of your vg so my vg name is vg test so you can see that my vg test has been removed so what we have done we have done we have created a you know a logical volume volume group and then we have understand what are different commands and after that we have created a simple logical volume and i have shown you how we can mount that logical volume and after that also i have shown you how we can decommission that so friend that's all for this lecture thanks for watching